Um, okay. This is uh, Super Dicks after a long, painful <laughs> insertion of gaming. Game time was at 9 o'clock. It's now 1 a.m. <laughs> God. Jesus Christ. Um, let's just go ahead. Let's just, just ignore everything that was before. The point is... Um, what happened in Super Dicks after some kind of mi- there was different kind of missions, but it ended up with the group uh, ending up in a small town in in Utah, and um, in that small town, basically the mutants have barricaded themselves in this uh, in this fast food joint. And guys like Shintai and Retro Kaiser, Shintai has actually literally killed one of the superheroes that they sent to kill you. Because right now, what is going on is that the government wants that super that superhumans, mutants, basically register with the government, and you are the resistance. Okay, now guys like Shintai and Retro have disappeared. You don't know exactly where they are. Um, you are surrounded by soldiers. What do you do? This is you are now in the diner right now. Do we know each other? It's like a 50s retro diner thing. Yeah, you know each other. You you know each other briefly, like you've been introduced. Okay, so you can, like, talk to each other and, like, know each other a little bit. you got a little time. Right now you heard the, um, God. See, that's that's the problem with all this technical shit. You, you got sidetracked from all the important shit. Yeah, you gotta get we can get back into the story and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, so so Sergeant Howard, the freaking asshole commander, has been saying, "Okay, you freaks, get out, or I'm gonna kill you all." And he gives you like an hour because you've been like, what happened is in the in the last sessions is that the group has taken out some SWAT guys and some superhuman guys that they sent in there. And in, in the game, also, they accidentally, they traveled into the Terminator universe. There was that, too. But, yeah, it, it, it ends up there's a bunch of, like, destruction in the small town and, like, I think even a crater or something. So, yeah, <laughs> murder and mayhem. And right now, you don't know where the hell Retro and Shintai is. So. All right, so my, my my first order of business is I'm just going to talk loud enough for at least, you know, uh, you know Alex to hear, and, and, and then I'll say, well, under the, um, uh, under the uh, freaking shit, how do you say it? Uh, Circumstances? No, no, no. Uh, under the um, capital punishment rule, my last meal, as long as I keep eating, you can't kill me, so I'll just keep eating these potatoes. And then you you see me like you know just mo- uh, chomping down on like some mashed potatoes. Well, you're, you're running out of mashed potatoes, so you gotta eat the hash browns. And they have also some really bad shawarma ripoff because they don't know how to eat shawarma because it's in the middle of mid America. So. Well, it's just that they they say they said we have like you know an hour before they come in, and it's like. I well, think I found the potato <laughs> pancake in the toilet. Yep. Uh, so. How close are the soldiers? Okay. I didn't go down here until like, the, the do- uh, I tried to put them at the door, but it didn't work. Okay, so uh, you go to this area. You have the link, right? You, I think you can, go, you can go 20, 20, mo- 20 areas in a, in a round. So. But yeah, you go here, and what do you do? So, sorry. I, I wanted to look at, at the... Uh, like. The um, window. I wanted to look at the window to see if I can see how how. Sure, sure. Okay, let me uh, right right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do that. Wait. And of course. There we go. There's nothing, is there nothing out there? No, no, no. This is what you see. Soldiers! Do you see them? Yeah. Okay. 
You see a bunch uh, of soldiers with with rifles aimed to you. So wait, uh, since you have some, you know, should be. I've got super speed. I might be able to to run out there before they can get a shot off at me. Well, what do you think, Roger? What are you gonna do? Well, uh, seeing how they have uh, assault rifles and the like, and the I'm not really that fast. The weird I will thing is, continue with my game plan. Out of character here. The weird thing is, you had a bunch of other people, and they seem to have disappeared. It's like you, 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 and uh, Roger against the world, basically. The way that if these are the same people that we've dealt with before, um, <laughs> that is not a big surprise. <laughs> Then uh, I don't think they're going to adhere to any technicalities on killing on not, not killing us. Oh yeah. Well, that doesn't seem fair to not follow the rules. Um, the thing is, Ro Roger is. You have to remember, so, my, so my guy is super technical. That's what Roger is. He's a super technical guy. So you have. To, I'm bullshitting with you in character. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me think. Roger should uh, attempt to communicate that through mumble, then rage, and then not use mumble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, um, you want to attempt an attack. The soldiers are right now neutral to you, but they are aiming your, their guns at you. But yeah, you wanna, you definitely have the first move. Well, you said we, have, you said we have an hour, so we might as well see all the exits we can. Yeah. What's, um, About 15 minutes have passed. 15? Yeah. Okay. What is what is this? Wait, fuck. Uh, yeah. This right here. Is this another window? Wait. Um, not seeing where you mean. It's on the left-hand side, like directly across the hall. Um, wait, let me... I'm going to draw it there. I mean this here? Uh, show me again. That's why. That's what I looked at the first time. Directly across the hall, there's a wider opening. It looks like a doorway. Oh, I see it. What you mean? Okay. Um, this is actually a. Oh, this is actually another hall. There's actually computers here. This is where you're standing here. This is the computer launch. The Internet launch. This uh, uh, fast food place has like a a internet launch thing. So mm -hmm. where you're standing are computers actually, and this one is like a separate, smaller, extending to that where you can use computers and eat your burgers and shit. Okay. Mm, let's see if there's anything else I can check out. I guess that, that one door is really the only opening, isn't it? Are there any other openings? I'm just saying, I'm looking around. I go up here. Um, when you go Oop, up... I'm sorry. Wait, wait, I'm gonna... There you go, that's where you are. Uh, you see me uh, pick up my plate as Actually, I'm uh, still trying to uh, chew chew on food, and I'm heading towards the uh, refrigerator, that I, at least the one that I remember, to try and still keep eating, because that plan should work, if I remember it correctly. What, what are you trying to do there? Okay, so you're eating... Uh... They, they, they will not kill me if I'm still eating. Okay, that, that's Alex, part of the rules. Alex, <laughs> that's what you're doing. Um, so, CF, what are you doing? Um... What are you doing on the table? I'm looking at the north end. I'm walking towards the, the north part of the map. Okay, let me uh, read this up. There's a door there. You're going towards the quick kitchen area. Is that what's up here, the kitchen? No, not yeah. there. Yeah, you, are, you are actually you walk past the kitchen. What you see here, what you walk past are the fryers and shit. Mm -hmm. So now you see a door. So the soldiers have been pouring in right now. They've been dropping out of the... Because um, there has been an incident with Captain Cosmic where Shintai has literally decapitated Captain Cosmic. 
After that, uh, Shintai, after, you have been the second squad. They've been sending you through with dimensional portals cr created by some uh, other mutant guy. And, uh, yeah. So you're not okay, quite sure. Uh, if the, you're not quite sure. The thing is, right now, the mutant uh, resistance is not really that well organized. So you're not quite sure if the other guys have actually moved back, you know, mm -hmm. so to the um, area where they are, like they moved back wherever. You have the link where, that I sent you, right? What you can do as a super speedster. Open it now. Yeah, that is important oh, I, too. Well, what, I was, what I was saying is I was heading towards the kitchen because uh, I need to find more food to keep my game plan going because, you know, I was running out of food on my plate. Right, right. Okay, so you have no problem. You, you find some uh, burger meat and stuff, so you're making yourself some burgers. So, not a problem. Not a problem. I'm reading this, this thing real quick. Just, okay. just, skimming, just skimming the page you sent me. Okay. The thing is, I think you can do like 20 moves or something in a round or some, something like that. Mm, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I guess I don't need to do that. All right, I'm gonna move again. Okay. Not there, but fuck. All right. This is where I want to be, right? Here. Fuck, it won't draw now. Cause I want to be in a specific place in the map, but he won't snap to the grid there. Okay. Well, it's I, like I, I want to be like in the well, corner okay, behind oh, the door. Okay, just tell me that because the thing is how it how it works. It's like if you're in that general area, you're in that general area. So I might need to house rule that for the next session because so far we has we haven't used the map. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. So I, I want to go like hide behind the wall and um by by the door opening. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like in this yeah. area, but inside the building, behind the wall. Okay, so you're hiding there. Okay, the soldiers are standing there. Either way, because of your super speed, you have initiative. So, all right, I'm gonna yell, uh, yell out the out the door. Come and get me, cocksuckers. Okay, okay, and you hear the other guy, the. Uh, uh, Captain Howard or whatever his name is and he's like saying hold your fire we will we will wait till the freaks come out and then we're gonna shoot them out okay so uh, hear, hearing you can, um, you, you, you can hear the um, said, you can hear I I, I, I say to them I, I say to, I say to Dan highlighting uh, I'm they're, they are probably they probably don't actually suck dicks <laughs> Uh, okay. Technicalities, technicalities. Let's see. How many do I actually see here? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then out of the top, we saw two. There. If I could get them in close quarters, I could take them. Um, let's just see. Let's do initiative order with the agility score, uh, okay. which should be. Let's just roll then. In. Incredible 40. Okay. What do you want me to roll? Uh, just, just, just roll a um, hundred sided dice. So, all right. Do you want me to roll as well? Yeah, yeah. You, you should. It's a good idea. Okay. Fucking a. So, uh, Roger got a sixty-two. Dan got a ninety-four. Like a and, boss. That's what I'm talking about. And. Uh, he got a shadowy unknown number. Wait, there is something I gotta set here. One of my skills is to throw objects, so this is gonna be pretty sweet. I'm in the kitchen, yeah, all that stuff. Okay, we're we gonna just do one initiative for combat. So, either way, there's something wrong here because it's annoying. Okay, 32. Okay, either way, so it's um, Dan Fogelberg and Roger Goldwyn and the, the soldiers. Okay, so it's your turn, CF. So, 
you have the picture. I think you can do like 20 moves or something. You're like, you're like super fast. So every time you move in a new direction, like a, it's like 20 actions. So one a action would be also to move. Uh, I'm at a loss. Oh, well, let's go. Let's well, go for it. You, you got the link, right? Well, you know what? Don't think about what you see in the link. Just tell me what you want to do, and I'll tell you what you need to roll. Okay? Let's make it simpler. Uh, there's no way to isolate any of them, because the trick would be to get like, get one of the... Uh, let's see, let's but, think, but, but think about you got... Yeah, you got, like, create cyclones, for example. You got, like, you could, like, just spin them around. You're, like, really fast. And you can do dodging. You got really high agility. So even if they shoot you... They're, right. just, they're just normal. They're just normal soldiers, normal human soldiers. They're not anything special. All right, so I'm gonna try and use uh, super speed and dodging to to tackle one of the to tackle and disarm one of them. Okay. Um. Just move your character. Which guy? In which area? <laughs> yeah, we'll okay. go here. That way, I'll have cover from the van. Okay. Um. So, just roll your dice. Uh, 100 again. Yeah. That would be an 80, 80, 80. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm going to roll in secret, I guess. Secret. 70, 79. Oh, wow. Um, but even though he did roll, roll 79, um, he has, your dexterity is way higher. Like your agility, I mean, his is good. Yours is like, I have it here somewhere. It is incredible. Yeah, yeah, you definitely succeed. So you tackle him, right? Yeah, um... One, so, I, so that's basically, his... yeah, you basically tackle him with your strength score. So he's down on the floor, mm -hmm. and, and he's damaged for 10, uh, for 10 HP. <laughs> okay, so can I disarm him? Can I take his gun? Um, yeah, you still have, you should have 20 actions. That was one action. All right, so let's get that gun. Okay, you got the gun. All right. I mean, so uh, well, roll. Just roll to see. As long as you don't get a fail, you're fine. Let me show here. Um, oh, it's a nine. I gotta, I gotta check that. Sorry, bro. So wait, is is higher better in this one or higher is better, lower is okay. sucks. I, I was wondering why, because when I got sixty two, I was like, shouldn't I be going first? Is that, yeah, <laughs> makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. Um. Your super speed is remarkable. Um, areas per round, remarkable. So you have three actions per every move. So that was your second action, and you rolled a nine, which is a fail. Mm -hmm. So you weren't able to pick up the gun. You want to try it again? Yes, yeah, so try it again. Okay, just roll. Any, if you roll anything other than the fail, you're fine. Okay. What What is the range of failure? 11. Um, well, you have 40. So. Yeah, you're not able to pick up his gun. So, so the next guy is uh, Roger. Alright, so I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to assume that there's a window outside for when the guys are. No. Uh, you are actually... Yeah, okay, you're in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so... Mm, where exactly are you in the kitchen, then? Because since there's, like, you're in the area of the kitchen, so you got to say it 
more verbally. You mean you mean in this? Okay. You're there, right? We're there. Okay. There's no win. Okay, there's a window. Okay, whatever. There's a window, so you can see them. Thank you. Um. What do you want to do? Your superpower is intuition. So you can feel like, you know, you can feel out what is <laughs> the right thing to do, I guess. <laughs> Use your potatoes to draw a plan. In potatoes. Well, Alex? Oh, I thought you were talking to Roger. I'm sorry. I mean, what Roger. I, I mean, Roger. I mean, Swingle. Yeah. Hmm. Roger. Mm hmm. Roger Wilco. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw the TV in that room, uh, out, out the door, out the window, and, and, and hit one of those guys. Uh, let's say the guy. Are you uh, going to use your, the white van. are you going to use your intuition to see if it's the right thing to do? Like, um,. I'm already built my intuition into the role, and I'm thinking that is the best move to do. Since already, uh, you know, Dan decided to attack one of the, uh, you know. Well, no, soldiers. you 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 gotta you gotta your ability is intuition, so you gotta roll first intuition to feel if this is, you know, if it's gonna succeed. You kind of just build something into a role. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I don't know what. I'm, I'm gonna do fifteen. <laughs> So, okay, so you're you're going first roll. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do okay. in, intuition, which is amazing, amazing, and you roll the fifteen, which is a fail. So you just throw out the TV; it doesn't do any. Just just hits the car and falls down. Actually, gains attention to you. So now it's the soldier's turn. And uh, yeah. That's great what job. I wanted them to, to do. Yeah. Great, great job. Okay, so the guy actually shoots at Mr. Swingle, 62. And it's good. Uh, since you already taken action, um, he does... Does he do? Fifteen points. Okay. So your hit points is sixty one. So he does. Yeah, I'm at uh, forty six. Yeah. Forty-six, then. Yeah. So you had sixty-one. So, now you're forty-six. So yeah, so they fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. So yeah, they started unloading on me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, one guy starts shooting yeah. at you, and he he did a good shot. So. And. Uh, <laughs> the yeah. good old throw a TV for distractions purposes. That's a, it's a good trick. Okay. Um. Why isn't it showing my role? That's what I I'm, I don't understand. That's what I fucking don't understand. Okay, seventy and ten, so he he 
he rolled a uh, 70, and it's good, so that's a green, so it hits you for another 15, so, so that is 46, so that's 31, 31, yeah, hits you for another salvo. Okay, that's the two soldiers there, and then there's two soldiers around Dan Fogelberg who attempt their attack. And one guy shoots 92, holy shit. And the other guy shoots at, is it 27? So the first guy, First guy, 92. Yeah, that's the yellow feed. Okay, so he hits you for 20 damage, like in a more. You got 76, so you got now. I don't have hit points. Oh, yeah, you got, you, your max hit points is 76, so you got now. 56. The other guy misses you. Um, the other guys are behind the car. They're moving into position. Yeah. Okay, now it's uh, CF's turn. You got three actions. I got one one guy on the ground. I got a guy on the left. A guy in front of me and a guy on the right on the car. Yeah. Alright. Um... Let me see inventory, see what I got. Okay. Uh, do, I, do I still have this Colt single action army? Yeah, on me? yeah, you do. If it's written on there, you, should, you have it. Colt single action army, 15. Which I assume is uh, uh, bullets. Uh, uh, 15 is your damage. I'll be nice. I'll give you, I don't know, four clips. of Since it's a Colt, so that means six shots. So you have four clips, okay? Alright, um... That's time to channel my dear friend Adam the Hedgehog. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to, uh, take the, the Dong Katana and, uh, try and s use my first action <laughs> to slash to the soldier who's to the left to slash him through the heart. Okay. Gotta go fast. <laughs> you have three actions, so go roll for fighting. Your fighting score is um, Dan Fogelberg. Should be fighting excellent, not bad. Um, I guess show it. 21. 21? That's what I rolled. Yeah, okay. So, fighting and your score is excellent. And yeah, it's a miss. Sadly, <laughs> you still have two actions, so you can still what you want to do. Um, you can also like go in a defensive pose. So, like, like you, what means is like that you would be dodging. You can do that as an action. Let's take him. Uh, Let's pull out the single action and try and take him hostage. Okay. Good. That would be a grappling action. That's based on your strength roll. Now you're thinking Hotline Miami right there. <laughs> yeah. 35. And uh, your strength is good. If it was Hotline Miami, I would have thrown the gun at him to try and knock him over. <laughs> Dude, if you had the Cobra mask, he would be dead. Uh, fuck, man. You guys are not rolling well today. 35. That's still a fail. You still have one more action. You can try it again. I <sighs> shoot myself. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try it one more time. Okay, let me see here. Okay, 64. Uh, okay, yeah, that definitely succeeds. 
you have, you take your gun and you take him hostage. The other guy is pointing his rifle at you. The guy behind the car is, is, is on the car on the rooftop. He's pointing his rifle at you. But they're not shooting, you know. I so, think that's the end of my actions, right? Yeah, that's, that was your action. Now it's uh, Roger's turn. All right, so I am going to uh, use one of my powers just because uh, if I don't, I'm probably going to die anyways. But I'm going to take cover and use my power to um, aim at one of the guys that are shooting me, and I'm going to set his. I'm going to make his gun combustible. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I have, you could I do have this. the power to, to combust things. Oh, and so okay. I'm going to pick. I pick a non-living target, and I can set but it's, it on fire. It's, it's, or at least, it's, you know, it's, on, it's only good. So, but still, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Good thing. Let's see what you 43, did. Forty-three. Yeah. Forty-three. Okay. Let me see on the table. I'll give you a green one. Forty. Ah, uh, God. No. It barely succeeds. Yay! Wait, wait, wait. I barely set his gun on fire. Wait, no. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't uh, crush my dreams. Do not crush my dreams. I have to crush your dreams. <laughs> You're like one tab out of success. <laughs> one tab into fame. You, fo you focus and nothing happens. All right, I am in cub. So. Okay, so... um. The guy moves in, one of the soldiers moves in, and he says, you know, stand down. And he attempts to basically uh, use his, like, his gun fu, military gun fu, to, like, basically push it down the ground with his gun. I'm already on the ground. That's true. Well, you know what, then he'll... No, I'm will... saying it to him. I'm saying it to him. That's, that's what I was saying. Sorry. He's, <laughs> he's going he's gonna to use his reason to try to, like, reason with you to that you should give up. Okay. That's 70... 47, right. Why doesn't it show it? It's just really annoying. Okay, 44. There we go. Um, reason typical. 44. Okay, he's not convincing you. He's not very convincing. Not very intimidating. Well, I, I, I am already on the ground, so I don't know why he would ask me to be on the ground again. Well, he's still a very young guy. <laughs> I think you need to rethink your demands, officer. <laughs> if I were to get on the ground now, I would have to get up and then get back down on the ground. The, the other soldier comes there too and like basically um, just uh, pointing the gun at you, doing the same thing but not very successfully. But they still have your gun pointed to you, so they're basically shoving it down your head. So yeah. Um, okay. I wonder how that stand down is going to happen. Man, there's a lot of people on you. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be hard for Dan, for sure. Yeah. Um... God damn it. There's some pr issues with this program, though, I must say. But, whatever. Um. Let's make this interesting. Um. So far, it is pretty interesting. I ain't gonna lie. No. Well, well, well. Okay. Uh, it's uh, CF's turn. You, you got him hostage now. What do you do now? Um, I'm, well, my reason is typical, so I'm not going to try and convince him anything. I am going to try and edge away with the hostage. How about to, yeah, I'm just going to try and edge away. I was going to sit through a car, but no, I'm going to continue on foot. 
eastward across the parking lot. Okay. Um. Okay, one, one, one second. Um, okay. Um, you have a. Um, I don't know if you see the new icon on the map. Um, I see my fat face. Yeah, I see it. You do see it? Yeah. CF, do you see it? What am I looking for? It's right above you. It's a guy with holding like an energy orb in his hand. It's like you know, right below the white van, right next well, to you. Well, it's not a guy technically, but it's a chick. But whatever. It's an. It, oh, it's. An, oh, I thought it was a white orb. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, those are breastuses. There's our mind. two. There's our two <laughs> orbs. Technically. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, hey, I, hey! You're not supposed that, to be technical. I'm supposed to be technical. <laughs> is that anybody I recognize? <laughs> No, you don't recognize her. Um, do you see her now? Do you see the yes. icon? Yeah, and there's a cigarette and everything. Okay. Um, she just appears. Oh. She, she has some kind of device in her hands. And uh, she's focusing on one of the um, soldiers that is, like, pointing the gun at you. Okay. And um, give me a second. 23. No, wait, wrong, 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 wrong. I'll find the... There we go. Excellent. 23. Okay, she's 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 like focusing her mind on something, but nothing's really happening. So, what were you doing, CF? I was trying to edge away to, to make okay. my escape. Okay, Mo move your character then, since you you have three actions. Remember, uh, I I got kicked out of fantasy grounds. Okay, and rejoin. Stand by while I try and rejoin. The whole program shut down on me. Okay. Snap it here. Thing. Okay. Dicks. Um. So yeah, a little recording issue. So this chick appears. She's like all, you know, she's about this twenty, twenty-something year old chick, black hair. Basically, like, uh, literally, the I took her picture. What is it? Uh, Rose McGovern, because I recently watched the Doom Generation. I don't know if you okay. ever seen that movie. No, no, no. But, but you, but okay. you know, you know Rose McGovern from like, yeah, yeah. So imagine her, uh -huh. younger, with like black hair and black dress, smoking and with a bad attitude. She's saying, "Yo, fuckers, what are you still doing here?" And uh, they, she throws you these little like devices into your hands. So roll. You know what? Fuck it. You just catch them. <laughs> awesome eighties movie catch where it zooms in on the hand. Yep. <laughs> exactly, that's what happens since I don't even use technically that's karma, so but fuck it, this is my karma. And <laughs> so you, so, so you have one more round to do whatever you want to do, the soldiers move in. Uh, one, I can't see the map. One guy shoots at you. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you don't see the map? No, but the guy's shooting at me. I'm wait, 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 wait. You gotta see the map, so. You gotta see the map because I put work in that, so. Sitting on the toilet. Is it loading? Is it changing? Yeah, yeah. there it is. I can okay. see it now. Yeah, it's there now. Okay, okay. So, you see where she is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's basically throwing them. And they're like, it's like she's throwing them, but the little devices are like flying towards you. 
So it's not her skill, it's more the devices. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you still have got, got around. So one guy, he shoots off a burst at uh, CF. Mm -hmm. And uh, gotta fix this. Two seventy six. Okay. Man, the GM is kicking our ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, show. Okay, but he's shooting at CF, so you got like at least uh, you want to try to dodge it. Yes, yeah, so sure. You Let's got three actions. On. Okay, roll. All right. Uh... Should be able to dodge that. Let me show this roll. Dodge the fuck out. Eight. Yeah, you definitely. It's your way. Okay, so the other guy is like saying, stand your ground, st stop the shooting, uh, stop your fire. They have given up. And, uh, he's, he's holding the guy hostage. And the little device is attached to your arms, okay, as you hold them. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happens is you like... Uh, basically disappear like it's a teleporter thing device mm -hmm. so and uh, wait close for all okay and uh, you find yourself got a map for that okay and you may find yourself in a fossil restaurant Thing. How did I get here? Okay. Um. Where's the pictures? What's up? Where's the pictures? I never know. That happens. Oh, there we go, of course. And modern. And, uh... And, of course, Alex's character. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, should be sharing it now. Loading. Okay. Nip it up. Do you see the map now? Still loading. Okay. Alex, yep. are you? Loading? Still loading. Still okay. loading. Okay. Okay. Wow, that's exciting. We'll, we'll stop the recording here. Okay, you're going to see it in recording anyway. Whatever. So, she teleports you. And she says, okay, this is like a one-time device to teleport you here. The resistance told me to get you here. Um, my name is Lauren, but that's all I need to know. We might see each other again. I have to go my way. We are 
many, many miles away. You are in uh, Truxton, California, a small, small town. So they won't be finding you here as long as you don't make, you know, put attention on you. You should be trying to, uh, trying to blend in and trying to get out of the sight. Anyway, I'm good at that. Anyway, you fuckers, I'm going to go. Talk to you later. She walks away. Okay. We we are out of their sight since you teleported us here. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the, the instructions were not to get out of sight. They were to stay out of sight. Meaning we are currently out of sight. Unless we should maintain that status. Of you're, in, you're in front of a oh, mall. Oh, see, that's different. That's for different. Truxton, California, so... I guess we don't have to have the map working because... Why well, have that functionality, I guess? Is the mall really busy? Are there lots of people around? No, it's it's about like, you know, four o'clock. So there's a couple of people, but... Okay, so we want to keep a low profile so it knows who powers, but they won't find us here. At least for a while. Um, Do I? We don't. Do I have a place to go? I mean, we were just in Utah, weren't we? Yeah. Or... Yeah. You were sent there for a mission. You don't have a place to go, but I think. Um, I don't know if you have any money, actually. No, you just don't have any money. Says. Says you I don't checked have any my money. pockets for money. I have no monies. <laughs> well, you didn't make it into your character. Yeah. So. Maybe I can sell my uh, my worn cold steel katana plastic uh, <laughs> sword in a dong holster. Can I sell that in the mall? Wait, wait, wait. Like I'm, 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 I'm gonna do like the convenient plot hook thing, and she's she's the chick comes back and like, hey, you fuckers, just because. Um, you might have some issues with money. Here's for both of you, 500 bucks. And oh, sweet. That's from the resistance. I gotta go now because they will probably find me. I'm, I'm more higher on their profile. So. Wait, wait, am I ever gonna see you again? <laughs> she just looks at you. Ugh. You're so lame. <laughs> She's she's pretty young, so she's like what twenty or something. So she's like, Word. but she's like kind of looks like a girl stuck in the nineties. She literally looks like the girl from Doom Generation. But yeah, she just walks away. Okay. Um, All right. Is, so um, is, is the map not not yet loaded for you, right? Wait, standby. I think that might have done it. It doesn't say loading anymore, but I can't see anything. Like, it looks like maybe it did load, and it's just the, the map is masked. Uh, it turned off the mask. Wait. Oh, it's is... still loading for me. Darn. What, do you see it now, CF? I see it now. Okay. I see, oh. like, I'm on the street. Yeah, you can see the chick so, like, on the like very end. You can see the chick here. She was here, and now she's walking away. So you could still easily Wait. catch up to her. Wait, I'm gonna catch up to her super speed. It's easy for you, you don't have to roll for that. You're just like right there. So what does the resistance want us to do? Apart from to keep a low profile? Well, you know, you're... Like, like, why did you save us? Well, your group was kind of special because you were the f one of the first uh, registered with superhuman powers, but then you suddenly disappeared and then you reappeared after five years out of character. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like kind of a meme. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No, she's like, you know, she, they don't know where you disappeared, you know? Um, they don't know the whole Wizard of the Well thing and whatever, but they do know that you disappeared. And the thing is, 
that you're for some reason valuable because you're technically first early generation uh, mutants or metahumans or whatever they call you, call us. Mm -hmm. um, my ability is actually, um, that's one of the reasons I have to go, because I absorb the psychic energy of people. And in order to survive, I have to do that constantly. So unless so, there is certain other people that can have special abilities that can keep me going without hurting other people, unless they're the enemy. And the thing is, the resistance believes that you can still be of use of, for the resistance, you know. And uh, the other guys, your other friends, um, let me see. She looks through her uh, cell phone for the names because I don't even know. Um, the, mm -hmm. guy, the guy who you name uh, Lance Sloan, I think he's a porn actor yes. but who can create weapons and uh, who's the other guy whose code name is Erected Tower. They have been uh, taken by another agent of ours to another location. But wait, wait a second, there's something I have to give you. She, she uh, goes in her pocket and she gives you a special cell phone. This one contains okay. a cell phone where it's not, not traceable, at least for, for a while, unless they crack the code. And you can reach uh, your friends through that. So, yeah. Very cool. Our character, I'm going to add the 500 bucks and the special cell phone. That is, that is really all I can tell you. More I don't know. I only know that Jay... Uh, Jay, one of the resistance leader, one of them. He trusts you guys, so. Out of character, Jay. Alex, Alex Swingle, is it working for you? Do you see the map? Map is the, it's it's no longer in the loading phase. It's still blank right now. I mean, it's just loading. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, fuck it. It's you're in front hey, of them all. Hey, the asterisk. You imagine, it's, you know... <laughs> As we say in the roping community, it's the uh, theater of the mind, right? So she walks away on the street and she says, well, he said, my name is Lauren, or also emotion side. We might meet again. I have to go, at, go again. You're pretty dorky, but kind of cute. But I have to go. So she just walks away. Leaves you in the dust. So... Yeah. yeah. So yeah, okay. Roger, you got also you got also five hundred bucks, Roger. So and, pretty sweet. Yeah. And also, you got a phone to contact the uh, resistance. CFs can contact all right. his friends. So, so you're basically in front of them all, both of you. Okay. All right, so I, I, I uh, look at Dan and I say to him, hey, do you want to well, go to a right, Express? Right now he's like, I bet you this all. he's way over there, like you can, he cannot hear you. Do you move back, Dan? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to Roger. Okay. And, and, like, and that's why I tell him. What do you tell okay. him? I'm, I'm, down for, I'm down for some Express Pandas. Cool. And then we go into the mall. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I... I, can, I can. Which one's the Panda Express? You need bacon um. eaters. Yeah, <laughs> stir fry, whatever the fuck they sell. <laughs> you want to get bacon eaters. <laughs> <laughs> you keep the tradition living. Yeah, because he eats a fuck ton, right? Because the super speed doesn't use eat a ton. <laughs> That's true. Like, yeah, you're like super speed, so you're, uh, how you say, you're 
um, digestion or whatever. It's really fast. Okay, so you yeah, go I to the closest. Like a twist. You go to the. Uh, you, of course, you conveniently find a Wendy's, but there's also a Panda Express, and that's where uh, your new friend goes. Mm -hmm. Or where does he go, your new friend? Good question. Where are you going, yeah. Roger? Yeah, yeah, the, the Panda Express. I suggested to go let's see if there's a Panda Express here, and we'll go eat there. So Here's... I get in line. Okay. That's not a big line. Well, but, but, um, I say, Dan is on the line for the, uh, Baconator, for the Wendy's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't blow all 500 bucks on Baconators, though. <laughs> So you are in front of the big, the uh, Wendy's, mm. and they ask you, what can, mm -hmm. what would you like to eat and drink? I would like the Baconators, and I would like a Coke, and I would like a Baconator, and a Coke, and a Baconator on a tray with an, a Baconator on the side. So is that like five Baconators and a Coke? <laughs> four fried chickens and a Coke. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And four fried chickens. <laughs> Will that be to go or to stay, sir? Um, are we eating it, Raj? It's uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's way on the other side, so, inside, he, so you're basically yelling at him inside the building. Well, you know, that's even yeah, fun. We'll be, we'll be eating inside the building. You know what? It's uh, better. Preferably by those chairs. Now you go with okay. soup. You and go I, with. And I point over to the tables. <laughs> Do you go with super speed to your to the uh, guy and tell him that? No, I don't do super speed. I uh, okay. walk over. I make I make everybody fucking wait for like ten minutes <laughs> while I walk all the way over. They're really annoying. Are we in here? Is that I walk all the way back? <laughs> <laughs> They're really annoyed. Because fuck it, right? Okay, and she says it's, it's going to be fifteen dollars, sir, for the five. Bacon haters and five chicken fries <laughs> and the <a> coke. <laughs> <laughs> and no, okay. uh, um, Alex. So your character, you are Panda Express. I mean, I'm gonna see um, five hundred minus fifteen. That's four hundred and uh, seventy-five. No, eight, 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 eighty-five. But, uh, who, who's who's counting? Right? <laughs> who's counting? Right? Uh, <laughs> no, 485. Okay. So you are um so you have your food, Dan and uh Roger, what do you order? Because there, there's this woman and she's asking Welcome by Panda Express, what can I help you with? Is that your best Asian accent? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Welcome to uh, right. Panda so, Express. Uh, <laughs> can you want some wine? I'm sorry. I just took something that was totally normal and then totally made, made it fucked up. <laughs> like the super well, you <laughs> Well, you can help me uh, acquire the resources to sustain myself. <laughs> I would uh, recommend sticky rice followed by uh, teriyaki chicken with uh, General Tso uh, sauce in, in, in it. Would you like anything to drink with that? By, by the display board above you, I believe it's called the number five for four <laughs> ninety five with uh, with drink. And I would suggest you help me in acquiring also a medium, I believe that's a 24 ouncer. Uh, yeah, it's a medium uh, Coca Cola, <laughs> which surprisingly does not have any cocaine in it. It's going to be $6, sir. One moment, please. Okay. Number four. <laughs> yeah, then I. Then, you know, then I. Then I. Then I. Then I. Money. <laughs> okay, okay. So you, you give her the money, you sit together, and you're eating your disgusting meals. And drinking, and <laughs> ex describe how you're eating, and just 
I can't believe I got four fried chickens for fifteen bucks. <laughs> that is quite the deal. I will not lie. It's it's like a special deal today. I have to pace myself because I because uh, I don't want to draw attention to the fact that I'm super speed. But it's like a sp- special day in tr- in, in in Truxton, California. So. Which is pretty close to Los Angeles. So, really? Yeah, just you hear you hear somebody as they talk about, hey, yeah, Truxton is really close to Los Angeles. So that's what you hear. Okay. So, are you shoving down your gigantic norm? Yeah. So explain De- how you're eating De- it. De- De- role- all the chicken bones De- and shit. You have to role play your eating right. experience. Right. That's a role play. <laughs> Okay, so first I'm going to start with the bacon eaters, right? <laughs> Those are the bad boys, right? And I got all the papers, so I, I'm going to unwrap each one. So I got five of them, you know, because they come with those little paper things that's all wrapped up, you know? And so I have I line them all up, and I'm double fisting them. Right? I, I I'm think that in order. one, and then picking up the next one. I'm, like, taking two bites out of this one and two out of this one. Are you doing right? it su- super speed or normal? No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The plan is to pace myself, right? So, so at first it's not super speed, but then he just fucking forgets what he's doing. Like, oh, oh, oh. okay. And then before you know it, I got I got the last chicken leg. And I'm like, these are. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I pull that shit out. I, I, I look over Roger. Like, so how's the Panda Express? <laughs> is it good? Roger, explain how you're eating your food. After seeing this, this disgusting display of disgusting. <laughs> well, uh, because this during, is role playing, man. Thing, this I, is like serious business. During that whole, <laughs> dur- during the entire time he did all those moves at once, I just got the fork and um and you know and butter knife out of the uh, plastic you know little napkin bag. No. <laughs> That's right, because the reactions per turn, right? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. so I, I and so I, I I look at I look at you and then I say. I'm I'm just getting started to uh, to masticate my food. <laughs> really? You gonna finish that? I I I plan on trying to finish it. Yes. All right. So what's our next move after lunch? Well, in the next twenty minutes or so, uh, I'll be done with lunch, and then after that. Uh, We'll we'll see what to do because we this got is a, definitely a new place. We've got a special phone that we can use to contact the other bros. You have this. You, you, you have this. Uh, you have this hot chick in the hot pants neck walk next to you and look at you judgmentally at your disgusting amounts of foods and like just say like Tuh, and walk away, walk away. <laughs> with her uh, water and her salad. Here, Sivan well, John or something. How about this? We, um, you make you, you make a phone call to see where our, our friends are, and then after that, we'll uh, I'll probably be done eating. You know, depends on how long the conversation goes, and we'll okay. see what we need to do. All right, let's execute. <laughs> I'm picking up the phone now. <laughs> Okay. Using my and index I'm, finger, and I'm, and I'm eating. Yes. Here's a good question. Here's a good question for you, Drabka. Yeah, Mr. GM. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the phone. What numbers are stored on the phone? Um, you have the wait. Because this was a phone that was just given to us. Yeah. Well, you have the phone number of like Shintai and the Retro and the other guys. Though uh, Jerry's character has never emerged from the dimensional gate yet, so they don't know about him yet. So, um, NPCs. Okay, you have the you have the num. These are the numbers you have. You got a guy named Jake. And you have a person, Casey Roselli, Mar- Marisha Quizetta, and Ricky Blaine. Those are the numbers you got. Mm, let's start with Ricky Blaine, the ones that I don't recognize in the group. Okay. 
So, he like picks up. Yo, what's up? This is Ricky. This is Dan Fogelberg. Oh, it's you. Hi. So, you got safe to the location? What is it? Is I'm at... I'm at the Panda Express. Do you, do you know me? I know you, yes. Yes, we shouldn't be talking that much. Right now, your mission is to... You've been getting some money, you know. You should stay low, get some place, uh, a location to stay in. I will call you up on this phone or one of, of one of the mutant leaders. You have the numbers from us. Um, it's not a traceable who's, phone. Who's the man? Uh, Who's we, the man to talk to for the it, next move? Uh, the thing is, we have multiple leaders. We don't have one because that way we can always be functional. Either of the numbers you see that are not one of your associates, close associates, like Marisha and Jay and Casey, those are the people you can talk to. Um, one of us will call you and tell you what's the next move is. Right now, you should find a place to stay. Stay low, and uh, wh wherever you are, um, even I don't know exactly where you are, and you shouldn't tell me because that way you you it's gonna be hard to trace you. So I'm gonna call okay. you up as soon. Right now, think it of as leisure time, as we have had. Uh, yes, we have definitely showed a sign of resistance right now, back in Utah. And that will show the government fucks that it's they shouldn't be messing with us, okay? And also the uh, uh, superior six will be starting to sh to shake in their shackles. So um, I think you you still remember a uh, certain alpha male. I don't know how to character. I don't know if you remember him, but whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you a lot of weird stuff. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, so, either way. But I'll lie to the guy and just tell him I do. Yeah, he's basically diver out of character, that version of the Justice League, and there was a session where the other guys bumped into them and stuff, but either way, they, they said it doesn't matter. The point is, we've been showing signs, but we have to lay low for a while and get our strength. So I'm going to call you up, guys. Right now you got leisure time. Go and do what you want for a while. I'm going to call you up. Find a place to stay and lay low. Definitely don't show your powers for a while. Yeah. Okay. That's Understood. it. Understood. No, hang up. Yeah, okay. All right, Raj. They say um, they, they're telling us just to lay low, get a place to stay, and wait for a call. That's it. He doesn't know where we are. We don't, we don't know where he is. That's the idea. So after lunch, go, um, go to Motel 6 and, and uh, get a room or something in town. I have a feeling oh. once they get in contact with us, we're probably going to leave. And uh, so we, we don't need to set up a base or any, any anywhere. So hopefully, you know, there is a Motel Six. But if there is, um, oh. will it be safe to say two, maybe three days? Because I don't want to, you know, rent out for like a full week. That uh, kind of thing. That would be a bit much. Well, in most motels, I mean, like this, you do you could kind of like a night-by-night -night basis, right? Well, well, you do get a discount, though, if you uh, plan on being there longer. So I just wanted to make sure. Do you think it'll be the, more than, like, two or three days? The guy on the phone said, count this as leisure time, so let's do three days, I guess. Okay. Because it would be a significant discount if we could do the full week. So I'm just saying, you know. Uh, okay. I'm game. But remember, okay. no powers. Oh, yes, of course. I mean. which, which means I have to do absolutely everything slow as fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, as you chew it, fornicating you're... doesn't really go at a certain <laughs> speed. So, I mean, to be slow as fuck is kind of strange. But let's, get, let's just get to that Motel 6, okay? Hopefully, you know, if we find one. Okay. I assume we're going to railroad his consumption of Panda Express in the storyline. Well, <laughs> you finish your meal. Do you want to still go and shop in the mall? I wanted to give you this chance to. Uh, 
buy some things. And well, I mean, we our our next plan our next plan of action was to go to the Motel Six. So why would we check out the mall? You know. Well, maybe you want to buy some useful items for use. Well, that's a good point. That's a good point. This um, is this is basically a time where you can go and freely role play without me doing anything. You're in a mall. Pretty much anything is available. It's America, so also weapon most weapons. You know. So. Um, I need something uh, a little bit more low key than a dildo katana. <laughs> yeah, I'm you gonna, do. Re- you, you do realize you've been sitting there with that, but probably out of character. They're just thinking that you're some uh, cosplayer or something. So. Yeah, I'm gonna take the dildo katana to like a, a pawnbroker and see if I can unload it. Okay. Uh, they give you uh, 20 bucks for it because they do recognize it's a cold steel sword, but they do see it's there's some damage on it. But all right, I'll take the 20 bucks. It, it's Except kind of it's a 505. Out, out of character, but it's it's kind of a sad way to see it because that dildo katana has seen a lot of action, and it's a cold steel original. That was actually like <laughs> that was actually like. Oh, the guy! Get, the what guy looks at the magnificent. Yeah, yeah. The guy looks at the magnificent weapon, and he asks you, "Are you sure you want to sell this magnificent weapon?" Okay. <laughs> is it? Is there a reason why I shouldn't sell it? I was going to try and get no. brass knuckles. Okay, that's How much fine. Do you have? For- he gives you brass knuckles, and like he gives you. He says he'll he'll take it for. 30 bucks because he like first he wanted to do 20 bucks but he takes he takes 30 bucks and for the for the rest he just but then I the on the video on the internet of the cold steel called the fat guy cutting through a pig head <laughs> exactly and he was very impressed <laughs> and even the damage the bent damage was like it's just for me personally it's like because that cold that the cold steel dildo sheath <laughs> katana has seen some mighty action but Okay, um, so brass knuckles, right? Okay, right, brass knuckles, uh, worn, bent, but then fixed, cold, super kind of nice So that we got brass knuckles. Let me give me a second. So you had 485, you got 30 bucks back. So that actually, you have 515. Yep. And the uh, brass knuckles. Okay, now I have to erase the worn, was bent but then fixed, gold steel, katana, plastic, and dung holster for um, brass. Knuckles, which add like a plus one uh, damage. So one plus, because that's how the um, weapons go. That are like you know, like not piercing, weapon, like uh, punching weapons, like shit like that. So that's plus one. Right. Okay. Anything else, Alex Swingle? You want something to buy? It's, it's a mall. Uh, no, I. It's it's very important that I try and find this Motel Six and make reservations before it's too late, because I do not want to go to a Motel Six if the motel is full. Okay, so you don't. Have to go else. So you don't. You don't want to buy anything in the mall. Anything at all. Wait. Well, I mean, is the phone? I, I ca- is I, the secret I, phone I a smartphone? What? The, is the, this a secret phone? Is that a smartphone? It's a pretty nice phone, yeah. Um, well, wait, wait, no, no, wait, yeah, they, wait. They I'll, I'll, the, the, it's a. Uh, it's actually no. It's just a simple little like phone that you can like clip up, and it looks like a. Not 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 anything special. So. Okay. All right. So my my recommendation is this: Let's hit the yellow pages. Get to um, get the number we can call from a payphone. Payphones still exist in malls. Yeah. All right. I will try. 
I will try to find the payphone in this mall if there is one, because you never know. And uh, out of we'll character, see, about payphone. How do you? What do you mean with that exactly? Payphones are the coin-operated phones. They don't have those. Things. Oh. Oh no no coin upgrade oh yeah sure yeah there's 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 still one payphone in the mall okay you all right well, I, will, I will go there and uh, do my research opening up the book to see uh, the multiple if there are any motel sixes in that area yeah it's gonna be a one quarter then and uh, hmm. which one of us is paying the quarter. He is. I'll he's pay the phone. Okay. okay. <laughs> Making calls and buying <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Extreme role play <laughs> fun. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm looking at you this entire time, like, you know, as, like, I'm putting the quarter in and all that stuff. It's like, what? We cannot use our, our normal phones because if we use it too much, they might trace us. So <laughs> I have to. Do it I, this way. I wholeheartedly agree. So 85 cents, then. This is where you role play rummaging through the phone book. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know... You really don't need anything else. So right now I'm being nice. It's like a shop. You know, you can buy stuff. You got a pretty good amount of money. I'm, I'm curious. Can I get a uh, what what condition are my shoes in? Um, they're actually not really that good. Ever since you started, so they've been like pretty worn out. All right, speed's my thing. I need to get a new pair of shoes while we're here. Okay, what kind of shoes do you want to get? Be specific. Doesn't feel good to pay less. Running shoes, for sure. Okay, but what kind? Running shoes. Oh, how much do you want to pay for them? And I will tell you what they are. You can get, you can get a good pair of barefoot running shoes for like 99 bucks, I think. So let's say 100 bucks then, okay. You get the Nike... Um, I don't know. Ultra Dicks. Ultra Dicks. Yeah, oh, special sweet. Nike Ultra Dicks. <laughs> Shoes. Run yeah. faster, jump higher. And they and they, well, and they will oh, last shit. longer, yeah. Nike Ultra Dicks. Shoes. I gotta add that. Okay. Anything else, guys? You wanna buy anything else? All right, well, I, I need to make sure that uh, there are any Motel 6 around. Did I see hmm. some of the yellow pages? Yeah, you, there is a Motel 6 pretty actually on the other side of the street All right, well, from the I, motel. I, from the, I got, I have, I'm have. i going to make the phone call since I put the quarter in. Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> it's like right out the fucking window the whole time he's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you, make, you make the phone call, and it's right on the other side of the mall. I make the call. You make the call. Well, no, okay, asking, uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to no, reservations. I'm seeing I, if there's I, any. I, out of character, I'm going to make the. I'm going to let's throw play this. So I agree. Beep. I know we have Beep. to. Do it. That's why I'm making a big deal. Beep. Hello, this is the Motel Six of Truxton, California. Can I help you? <laughs> Hello there. I am. Uh, I, <laughs> My name is uh, Roger Goodman, and I would like to uh, make sure if there's any uh, available uh, rooms in your motel. <laughs> yes, of course, there's available rooms. <laughs> it's uh, seventy seventy dollars a night. <laughs> is that for all rooms, or just for um, certain types of rooms? Yeah, well, we got the, we got the special room. You know, for special people, I mean, for, it's called the, uh, honey, uh, <laughs> the honeymoon special room. You want that? You want to book that room, well, sir? Well, I, 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 I don't plan on being in, on a honeymoon, so I don't think that would be in my option. Are there any other rooms available of uh, special kinds besides that? I just want to make sure, because if I spend the no $70, other... it's uh, like, you know, much... If it's a low well, quality, well, then well, expecting, well, the honeymoon then I room. Really don't want the, to do that. the honeymoon room, sir, sir, sir. It's uh, honeymoon room is hundred fifty dollars a day, and all the other rooms are forty dollars a day. 
So yeah, if you want breakfast, that's a ten dollar extra for breakfast. So that would be fifty dollars a day for a normal room. Okay, that's good. That that's uh, what I, what I was uh, was hoping for there. I will uh, go ahead and uh, wait. How many beds? Uh, like um, how how many how many uh, people it's, can fit it's in It's one a normal one room? French bed for two people for a couple. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you hold on a second there? What name can um, I reserve? Can, and I, and I, can I, I reserve the name for? Uh, um, it, it's for uh, for Roger Goodwin, and I just need to ask uh, some. Roger uh, Goodwin. Yeah. Uh, you know, my I just need to ask my friend here uh, something. Can you, is it, you is want it, a second? Is, you have to ask your boyfriend or something because we have still the time to be open. We're we're not judgmental or anything. <laughs> Well, I mean, we he like is the a gays. friend and he is a boy, so I mean, <laughs> by your standards, he is boy. I mean, because he is you, a boy you, you, you mean a young man, friend, right? I would say he is a boyfriend. Oh, oh I see, boyfriend. I mean, okay, really, okay. It's 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 really an adult friend, but you know, by your, I guess you would call him. A, <laughs> sir, 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 you're confused. You're male, confusing me, sir. Adult friend. <laughs> Sir, sir, you're confusing me, sir. So, so Roger, what is it? Just, just make it simple, sir. Okay, I'm, I'm a simple, well, simple I, I, girl. I, 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 um, well, I, I, I think you're very complex, actually, just from our conversation. But if you can hold on just for a moment, so I can speak to my friend here to see if the accommodations are suitable for us. What did you please do it? Sides, dude. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so I, I go ahead and I put the other uh, phone down, you know, off my ear, and I and I you know look at um, <laughs> Dan. I look at Dan and I say, Dan, is um, there there's a room available? It's one bed, uh, fits two people. Is that okay with you? Uh, that's fine. <laughs> okay, thank you. Then I you know, put the phone back up to my, uh, my 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 ear there and all that stuff, and I say to the lady. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I want to reserve. Uh, where where are you getting there? Where are you getting there? When are you arriving? <laughs> we let's see here. Uh, based on the feet per second that I can walk, um, <laughs> I would say in about twenty. No, no, twenty. No, that'd be too much. I'd say about fifteen minutes. Like I'm, I'm outside the mall. I mean, well, you know, inside it. Sorry. Fifteen minutes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, to uh, visiting uh, Motel Six. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. Is there anything else you want to do in the in the mall? You want to buy something? Well, I would like to uh, to buy go to the bookstore. See if there's okay. any interesting books available. <laughs> what for? What kind of books they're looking for? Because there's all kinds of books. Uh, I was looking for like you know like a fantasy novel, so, uh, you know okay. not, not like romance, but you know like like a like a you know, fantasy like novel, okay. swords and swords, yeah. swords and sorcery style. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, there's exactly. a bunch. Can you be more specific? Like, say, just say a book or something. Okay, you, you have the, the, the yeah, you have a nerd. Like, you, you, ha like, uh, you have a guy there, and he asks you, "Can I can I help you something with with something, sir?" And he's about a uh, seven foot tall. Skinny guy. Can I help you with something with something, sir? Uh, yes, yes, you uh, you may be able to help me with something today. I am looking for some um, some fantasy novels. Um, from well, we have a whole uh, section while for we, fantasy while books. At the hotel. It's right next to the science fiction okay. section. You can check it out, sir. What are you looking for? What are you uh, I'm not sure right now because I, I just know that I need I need a good novel to to sit and wait for you know the next forty eight hours before uh, before I have to get out of town. Okay, you want you want out of character? You want to just say a book, or should I randomly do it? No, I, I'm, I'm, I, I I want you to play with me. Give, give me give me some books. Okay, <laughs> I'm not even gonna find a real book. I'm gonna generate a name, and this is gonna be fun. So. Oh, better yet, video game name generator. Oh, uh, yes, out, of uh, out of character. Um, you can also buy video games if you're bored. Nope, I'm sticking to books. 
<laughs> but I'm, I'm, to it. I'm kind of more hinting to CF's character. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> okay. I just blew a hundred bucks on shoes that are probably never going to come up in the storyline. I think I might call it. <laughs> you know, that would be great, though, if, like, if uh, freaking, he just, you know, the GM just says, like, uh, like five different characters noticed your shoes look really nice. That's too much shit. Okay. Um, you, you, he is recommending you. Okay, here's this uh, book called Wind Holy Hunter from... Uh, Mel Winderbacher? <laughs> you getting this? Is Would that interest you? It's about uh, a novel about a... I've never heard of that author. Can you tell me more about him? No, it's not such a good one. Um, this one is actually quite interesting. Oh, now, now I have a great idea. It's, it's, uh, it's about this... Uh, it's about this... Uh, cleric, right? This really weak cleric. And uh, and uh, he's like uh, going on in these adventures with this really insane dwarf in this fantasy world. Kind of like a Tolkien-esque world. But they never can get out of this dungeon. And it's kind of a kind of a comedy thing. Out of, out of character. Why that, uh, that... That sounds... Uh... That sounds enjoyable. I'll, I'll definitely pick that one. Okay. What, what was your character's name again? I forgot it. <laughs> it was Todd Stone. Todd Stone. It's The Adventures of Todd Stone by, uh, by, uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> Andre by, Martinez. No, by Andre Martinez. There you go. That's, that's the book's name. Okay. Book. The Adventures of Todd Stone the Gnome by Andrew Martinez. Okay, so that book costs you about ten bucks. Okay. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> Anything right, else well, you guys I, know? I am personally good to go. I have my checkerboard suit, which is, you know, very dapper. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And, and, uh, and I got a good book to read while uh, we're at the motel. I'm pr- I think I'm pretty satisfied. I'm game. I'm ready for the hotel. Okay. Then, uh, we will, uh, <laughs> let's let's role play the hotel out. Okay. Uh you get to the hotel. See uh a about lady in her forties. I don't know better yet. <laughs> you see a, a guy and <laughs> I'm not you see a guy and he's whatever. Um he's saying, Hey, welcome to Motel Six Motel Six. How can I help you, sirs? Well, Weezes, Weezes, like, look for room, right? For the thing. Oh, okay, I see. Did you <laughs> <associate> <laughs> room already? And he's, like, hinting. I, are you going to the uh, lover's quarrel room? We're going to the stop asking questions and show us the room room. Okay. Well, well uh, uh, do you have any reservations? To, yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, we do. I, I made a reservation about. Oh, geez, it took <laughs> us that long to find a book. Oh, it was about thirty-five minutes ago. And um, hold on. You estimated we'd be here in fifteen minutes, and you spent thirty-five minutes looking for a book. <laughs> no, no, we we, we spent twenty minutes looking estimation. for a book. We we spent twenty minutes looking for a book because it took us fifteen minutes to get there. Uh, I'm okay. still I'm still being accurate, and I'm still being very technical. <laughs> 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 the asterisk. So what and, name? Uh, what name on under? I'm not really that interested in that. But it, it is uh, it is under it is under the uh, the name Roger Goodwill. Goodwill. Roger Goodwill. There we go. Let me see that. And he opens the book <laughs> and he looks through. 
Ah, yes, Roger Goodwill. That's one room with a French bed. That's going to be $50, sir. I am confused because the price changed three different times when I was talking with the lady at the, um, you know, on the phone. She said first it was seventy dollars, and then she switched it to forty dollars when I agreed to that specific room. And then now you're telling me it's fifty dollars. What's the oh, 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 that lady. Yeah, she she has some issues. She's got. She was fired today. It's fifty dollars, sir. Okay, that is fair. I will uh, have at least payment for two full days. Okay, for two full days. Okay. And then I then I hand him the hundred dollars. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, no separate room for your friend, or are you going to be together? A crash on the floor, his place. I see. Okay, thank you very much. He gives you the key. Your room is going to be um, number seven. Okay, thank you. Okay. And so... Yeah, you have the key now. Okay, so yeah, um, I think this would be a good time to stop because. Um, well, no, no, no. Before we stop, <laughs> we have to role okay. play how you enter the room. O okay. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 get, we get up to the room and then I go ahead and. Is it a key card or like it's, an actual like, normal pair of keys? It's a normal key. It's, it's, uh, you realize it's. Uh, not very uh, nice old motel. So you open the I, door. I am surprised though, because there's a motel six, and usually those are pretty snazzy. Well, <laughs> it's it's a different universe, so. <laughs> and this is a smaller. This is trucks in California, after all. So you open up and you see the room, and it looks uh, pretty shitty. But you know, you rest down, and that's where we're gonna finish the game. Which is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! So, one of the weirdest, and probably one of the shittiest games I ever read. <laughs> <laughs> it had a couple of good moments. Yeah, I mean, that, note, that phone call and then picking up the book, that was pretty epic. <laughs> that shit was fucking lousy. Now I have to make a map for that hotel. <laughs> Uh, that hotel is going to be a whole plot point. So, anyway, we're going to stop.